they wanted to support the government of Congo with some ambulances, so they discussed with us well, what could be done in a very short notice and what sort of specifications could we do for this ambulance knowing that the vehicle will be used in a COVID-19 uh, uh, emergency. So we had a discussion and like, as you may have seen from the, from, the, uh, from, from, the, from the ambulances, they're slightly different to what we normally do. Uh, and we've um, managed to produce those four ambulances in five days. This is unfortunately a, a widespread um, emergency um, uh, a pandemic and many of the poorest countries in the world uh, require s s support and assistance from the international community. We are um, Toyota Japan's official uh, distributor to support the UN in times of emergencies. I'm, I'm sure you've seen, everyone's seen in the road that these white vehicles have been driven around and been par parked in different areas ready for emergencies, but this is exactly what this is for, to support those countries who, who need it the most um, for, for the uh, usage by the UN and by, by the Red Cross and, uh, and the various uh, organizations like uh, Oxfam, uh, Medicines of Chair. So this, this is definitely a, a more and more requests are being received for this, uh, this emergency. Now, uh, when you see a normal ambulance, you see um, um, top of the range, up to date equipment. Whereas in these ones, what we've seen, the equipment is quite basic. It just proves um, the difference between what we have and what these developing countries have. Absolutely. These vehicles are meant to be used in very, very tough conditions, under very rough conditions. Uh, not only the climate is, is tough, but there's no roads, uh, there's very little infrastructure, and the vehicles need to operate all the time with the minimum maintenance, minimum repair. So, as, you can, as you've seen, the vehicles are, are, are basic themselves but the conversion is also also basic basic and operational so it can be used straight away in the field by doctors by nurses so we've made, made some uh, changes to the what we normally do as I said earlier for example the partition between the, cost, the, the, the driver compartment and the rear compartment is full there's no windows and we've added some extra ceiling to avoid uh, contamination from uh, the patient area to, to the front of the vehicle. So we've done this kind of modification and we've also uh, had uh, um, um, the, the, uh, options and accessories which we've uh, for quite a long time now have been doing for the UN. This has not come about overnight so the specifications have been discussed and agreed with the UN, with doctors who've come here uh, from the UN, from the Red Cross, from Medicine Sans Frontières, who've come here with us. Uh, over the past few years and to design together with us what is the best field ambulance to be operational in the field. Uh, you're absolutely right, it's not what we, what we see uh, normally here, but it, it, it works very well. Now that is, um, on a normal day you'll be able to provide these vehicles no problem, but obviously this is a worldwide pandemic, something that's affecting every single country. Is logistics proving a difficult situation? That's exactly right, uh, spot on. It, we've, we've supported many emergencies in the past. Uh, this is the first time we also had the receiving end of it, uh, as it is uh, in Gibraltar, in nearby Spain. We know it's as well uh, very, very, very tough over there. And logistics go through uh, ports in Spain, go through roads in Spain as well. And so therefore we have to work with that. Uh, it's changing every day. Um, rules are changed every day. So we have to adapt and, and make sure we, we can support those organizations. We've been doing very well, as you can see so far. We've managed to, our workshop team has managed to, uh, to, to provide these vehicles within five days. We have uh, two different shifts uh, here instead of one shift before to make sure that there's two teams that do not meet. Uh, we have uh, in between the two uh, teams, we have um, a team of uh, a cleaning team that comes and completely cleans up the, the area. So the next team can come to a clean uh, work area to work. Um, our logistics team is constantly looking at uh, well, what can we do? How do we find a solution to bring these vehicles in and bring these vehicles out? And um, obviously here locally we have our own ambulances, you don't provide that, but you have helped, haven't you, providing the, the hospital with certain equipment? Yes, we, we've, uh, we've got a number of medical equipment, which is not exactly the same types as what we may find in Europe, because it is something that is used in field operations, but we had, for example, we had the if I recall, I think it's nine ventilators uh, in stock in, um, in, um, here in our work warehouse. And we donated them to the GHA uh, about two weeks ago um, as, as our part and, uh, and as well supporting as much as we can with providing contacts uh, for different uh, uh, medical supplies that may be of any of the help to, to the community. Uh, so we, we try as well to go a bit locally because we, we are a local company. Mm -hmm.